Well, it seems every week there is someone in the media analyzing, berating, and even degrading Trump supporters, voters in America. This time, it's former CBS News anchor Katie Couric. She says the former president, Donald Trump, supporters are being driven by, quote, anti-intellectualism and class resentment. Watch. The socioeconomic disparities are a lot, and class resentment is a lot what, and anti-intellectualism and elitism is what is driving many of these, these anti-establishment, which are Trump voters, right. or anti-establishment voters. So I think that is a huge problem that we have to address. I don't know if you've ever been jealous of some what someone else has or resentful. It is such a corroding and um, bitter, almost bile <laughs> feeling. So, Nicole, what exactly <laughs> is she talking about? <laughs> I mean, first of all, just looking at them both in these, like, big armchairs where they were sitting, I mean, the whole thing is rather cringeworthy, right? I mean, I'm watching this, and, you know, some would say I'm on the extreme of the academic, the educated side, but I found myself being Well, you offended. are a I'm brilliant like, doctor. Thank you. But I'm like, I feel offended, and I don't even know what she's talking about at this point. And so I can't imagine what other people were feeling as well. And at the end of the day, yes, those those who have higher socioeconomic stature, you know, they, they're not feeling the effects of, you know, the White House right now and the economics that are going on, the crime in their streets, in their neighborhoods, and the cost of things at the grocery store. So she's talking down on all these people who are actually suffering, and she just seems so out of touch with the American people, which kind of is what's been going on with the White House and the entire administration. So, I mean, she probably could get a job there. She sounds in touch, though, with many on the left to do exactly what Nicole is describing. Yeah. And that is look down their nose at people who don't see what they are experiencing. Remember, the Democratic Party and how many members of the media went on TV for like three weeks saying that we need to have deprogramming of Trump voters? Mm -hmm. Do you guys yeah. remember that? I and it wasn't like one person one day. It was like a coordinated effort by the left to say, hey, we need to deprogram all these crazies. I love this type of rhetoric from them because it goes back to the simple issue. Is the economy stupid? And if people are suffering and this is your response to that, that anyone that disagrees with you is somehow ignorant or stupid or dumb, then I think mm. people are going to show up and vote to say, no, I'm actually concerned about providing for my family. The average family does not have Katie Couric money sitting in her big chair, right? Like it doesn't, it doesn't exist, mm. okay? The average American right now that's struggling is trying to take care of their family and they're trying to put food on the table and they're trying to go for retirement one day. And, and the left continues to say that if you disagree with us, you need to be deprogrammed and you're an ignorant, stupid human being. And that's what they believe about Trump supporters and really now the, the entire Republican Party. You know, it's interesting uh, to me, Emily, that that group is called A15, April 15th. It's a big day in government in this country. It's yeah. about taxes. It's about people taking a look at what they don't have and many of them having to owe and pay the government even more above what they've already paid. I mean, talk about punching people in a tender moment. Mm -hmm. Not only are they out of touch, and look, Katie Couric, she used to be a great journalist. That, that I, I'm not really sure what lane she's in now, but it sounded like she, what she wanted to say was basket of deplorables. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's the message we received. Um, you're so much more, I love that you love that because I was sitting here like just full of rage and, and just so like offended and, and I'm like, I, I need to calm down and, and see this as, as illustrative of the situation rather than letting it get to me, which I do all day every day because it is so repugnant to me to have what I see as the symbolism of how the media feels, that they can paint with this broad brush everyone who supports Trump and have no idea what everyone's individual historical backstories are or the love they have for their families and that they just want them to be provided for and that someone can waltz in an armchair quarterback, me and half of America, mm. and say, this is what you are and look down on you. That is the media today and that is what those two represent. Yeah. This is what gave us Biden last go around yeah. saying that if you don't vote for me and you're black, you're not really black. Yeah, this is definitely Katie Couric's deplorable moment. And the mask is off, as you say, Ben. And what you see is a mean girl. She didn't just say that you're stupid. She also said you're jealous. You know, you're jealous of me. And back to the, you know, she, you say you know, she was a, a great journalist. 
zero curiosity. Listen, we've been facing the, who are these Trump voters and why do they think this way since 2016? She has zero curiosity. The only thing she has to say is, I'm rich, I'm, I'm famous, um, I have money, you're jealous, you're stupid. Um, no, I think it shows that she's actually pretty stupid. Well, I think in my social media, I will be reminded that she was only curious about what Sarah Palin was reading. Yeah, yeah. very I, I can I, I can see I can see the expos yeah. coming already. Yeah. No, no, we haven't.